Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading from the 8th to the 14th of April 2019 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Virgo. So I'm just pulling, oh beautiful, I'm pulling a Sacred Power reading card and the one that's popped, popped out for you is Rainbow Dragon. I'll just read that out to you. So we have Rainbow Dragon. And this is a beautiful card. Be honest with yourself and others. Release your burdens. And I kind of think it's about time to step into your true light. Beautiful energy. Now, let's see what the cards say. So cards, what do we have for Virgo? 8th to the 14th of April 2019. Virgo. Okay, we have Page of Pentacles. What else do we have for Virgo cards? What else do we have for Virgo? Okay. Oh, beautiful. Lovers. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Three of Swords. I kind of figured that might appear. Okay. What else do we have for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo? High Priestess. That's great. What else do we have for Virgo, please? What else do we have for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo cards? Okay. King of Cups. Beautiful. All right. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Let's get a clarifier for the Three of Swords. chariot good that's a really positive sign Virgo really positive and um, let's clarify the four of Pentacles four of Pentacles is that one that's going to go off or okay I know what that is and let's clarify the the king of cups Too many. Too many there. King of Cups. Judgment. Okay. So, Virgo. So, we have the Rainbow Dragon. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. And it's very much saying, be honest with yourself and others. Release your burdens. And that's what you are doing. In these two cards, that's exactly what it says. You're moving on. You're moving on. And I think you're getting that sense of self back. So the Three of Swords can be about deep hurt, betrayal, heartbreak. Um, hurtful truths coming out maybe as well. Generally it can be in a love relationship. I think some of you have... Yeah, swords can link with the mind. You see all the rain in the and, and the clouds here. This is what's been going on in your mind. Um, tears. Hurt upset, dark clouds hanging in your mind. But the beauty about the Three of Swords is that it asks you to see what that energy represents. The truth. Swords represent truth. Swords represent clarity. 
when you see the truth, when the truth is revealed to you, no matter how hurtful, you get clarity. And it's accepting that, Virgo. It is accepting that, which is more it's easier said than done, I understand. But I kind of think for some of you, you have. I think you've lived with this energy long enough. And the chariot is about moving on. The chariot is about finding balance. You see, this chariot is made of stone. And it is about, you know, and, and the question is, how does it move at such a speed forwards? And it's because you're releasing that weight from your mind. You're releasing that weight that's been hanging over you in your life, in your body, in your soul. Uh, and as soon as you do, you start moving towards victory. You start getting clarity where you're going. You start getting direction in life again. Um, feeling in control, you know, the reins of your life. Feeling in control. And it is that decision to move forward and say, enough now. Enough on that. Time to move on. The black and white sphinx is very, very critical in this card. And um, they can talk about moving forward with balance, absolutely. But it also talks about how... Our emotions, negative thoughts in our minds can almost like push us one way or another. They can bring us to the highest high or bring us to the lowest low. And it's how we reign in those emotions, those doubts, those fears, those um, different kinds of emotions and thoughts that happen within our body. And um, to push forward, we rein them in, we control, we bring them into balance. And we say, right, I'm moving forward. And that's the victory with the chariot. This is a real victory. So you could be moving on also. Uh, the, travel, the chariot can talk about travel and it can talk about um, pushing forward in your external life as well, moving on. Some of you will be, re be reviewing um, maybe opening yourself to love again. Some of you may be opening yourself to career opportunities again, chances to move on, to move forward, to mo move to that next level. Um, so beautiful energy, Virgo. I love it. I think that's a reading in itself. Um, I'm going to move to the four of this four, okay? Because, again, this does link. You see, I do talk about... My readings do work sometimes with bookends. Um, and this is the nine of swords clarifying the four of pentacles. Nine of swords is when we're up all night, worrying, stressed, upset. I mentioned tears, I mentioned dark clouds. You see the darkness in the background? Swords linked to the mind, dark, dark thoughts, dark memories hanging over you when you're going to sleep, stopping you from relaxing, stopping you from finding peace. And it's an illusion because the mind can be our best friend or our worst enemy. I think I'm saying this in every reading nearly this week. Um... You know, sword's energy, very much about truth and clarity. Once you see the truth, you get clarity on how to move forward. And it is putting things into perspective now. I just feel for some of you, you question your value. You're questioning your value on a certain front. Whether it's in business or jobs, am I capable of that? If other people have told you or fed back negatively, it's affecting you. It's affecting your self-value. It's keeping you up all night, stressed, worried. If you've been hurt in love, which obviously certainly you have been. Actually, I changed those cards around. That's where they were. Um, if you've been hurt in love, which certainly you have been. You've been questioning your worth. Do I deserve love again? You know? But I think some of you have... have finding solid ground I think you're moving forward I think you're moving forward slowly certainly with that chariot energy to a more stable solid ground beautiful energy beautiful energy and I think you're beginning to find that value in yourself again and I'm saying that because yeah you've got the you've got the page of pentacles here page of pentacles again this page stares at this this pentacle just like it's pure gold which it probably is um but it's the it's the value of yourself as well and i think you're beginning to recognize your own value and very much like um 
I think you're coming out of your shell again. I think you felt you were going into your shell, especially with this Cancerian energy. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking that. Some of you, I felt, had retreated into this shell and now you're coming back. This is the comeback because um, the, the chariot is the sign of, is, is linked to cancer. Uh, and Virgo, I think you're beginning to find, you're beginning to find that shine with you again. And you're at the very, very beginnings of finding that self-value, that self-worth. Yeah. Now this can also talk about good news coming into your life. Maybe beginning to see good news, having good messages fed back to you, maybe, um, positive options. This can also be opportunities, change, change maybe on the work front. So it could well be in the form of new jobs, um, new promotion, new bonus potentially, um, or business ventures beginning to pay off. This is at the very beginnings of something new something exciting. I think there's a change within you. We are feeling that solidity. You're feeling more grounded. It's a time for being more practical, putting one step in front of the other. And yeah, I think you're just ready to start. You know, I mean, pentacles can be linked to solid relationships. So you could be ready to start looking at new relationships now, certainly for some of you. But it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. This is the very beginnings of expansion and growth. And I think this is a more optimistic perspective for some of you. Um, and it's good news. It heralds a, an era of, of better, better news. Good fortune, most definitely. Sorry. Sorry, just put down the phone. I do tell people not to call me. Um, so yeah, better news, better fortune, good news, most definitely. Now, some of you may well be open to love again. Um, this could well be, um, you know, meeting that soulmate, that relationship that you've been looking for, that you've been searching for. Um, open to, yeah, healing from the past. The angel Raphael talks that his healing is God's healer and healing from past hurts, past wounds, maybe on the love front for some of you, and finding love again, finding that soulmate that you've been searching for, something that makes you strong, something that as a union you can overcome obstacles together. Now this card can also mean self-love, finding that self-love, self-worth, most definitely these cards self-value again and maybe beginning to open your heart making clear choices about your future how you want to push forward how you want to move forward now making clear decisions on how to push forward and change your life for the better and you'll be very intuitive you'll be very intuitive virgo this is the high priestess this is about your inner voice your inner guide you know, when we can't put our mind in perspective, when emotions run high, it's our inner voice that guides us. And deep down, you know what to do. Deep down, you know what to do in this heartbreak situation. Deep down, you know that you're worth more than what this situation defines you as. And it's time to recognise that, most definitely. I see your worth, and I think that could spill over, certainly into the job, money front. Um, beginning to find that new confidence, the beginnings of something new, maybe new jobs, as I said, some of you um, will be going for new positions, new promotions, starting something new um, that can be long-term and bring a lot of rewards for you, so it's beautiful energy. And then, yeah, the King of Cups... is uh, reinforced by judgment. I kind of think this is very much about you getting good karma in your life, feeling good karma, feeling love. Now, this could be somebody who, who is in your life at the moment, who is helping you through a difficult situation. You see, with the King of Cups, this, these waters are very choppy around his throne. Um, but he, st he sits there resolute, very calm, because he has complete control over his emotions. He understands the depths of emotions, the mysteries of emotions as well. 
and how unfathomable they can be. Again, they can be your worst nightmare or your best friend. Um, same with the mind. And it is very much about getting in control of those emotions now to really be, um, to promote self-love and feel valued, feel self-value again, most definitely as an energy. And there's a real success in that because once you have that emotional stability within, you project that on your external world. And it doesn't matter if you get emotional knocks, certainly from this situation here, you can cope with it. You can cope with it. Because I think you've come through the other side. Judgment is a period of, of karma where we're all judged by our actions and other people are judged by their actions towards us, ours towards them. And it is about standing up in your own light now. Standing up and awakening to your capabilities. It's time to, yeah, appreciate what you're capable of in life now. Be aligned to your true destiny, most definitely. And allow good karma to work in your favour. I mean, good karma um, is when, you know, you can really bring about um, things, synchronicities might just happen in your life. Um, and it's where divine energy is really working with you to bring about positive change. Again, change the, the page of pentacles. Um, so it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. And I think it's the road to success for some of you. Uh, paving the way to a real successful outcome um, of self-love, self-knowing. Understand how emotions can rock you and understanding the importance of getting a grip on them now, Virgo, in order to... Yeah, let go of the past and push forward to that new era of discovery. Discovery of yourself, discovery of other people. But it does ask you to, to forgive the past where you can forgive. Forgive yourself where you can forgive. And then let go of that baggage because it's saying it's time. And you'll feel so much more better, powerful and more successful because of it. Um, so yeah, beautiful Virgo, beautiful. But I do think there's some some opportunities here, certainly on the love front, that's self-love, making clear choices to progress your life now, whether it's in business or love. And yeah, the King of Cups could be an offer of love potentially as well. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.